Do you want to know how to do luminar masking, but you're just not sure how? Or are you simply wondering what, if anything, you can do with masking in Luminar 4? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm James Dempsey from PhotoWorkout.com, and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about masking in Luminar so that you can harness the power of masking for incredible image edits. Let's get started. Now, First of all, what is masking in Luminar 4? First things first, masking is a post-processing function that allows you to hide or mask select areas of a photo from being edited. Say I want to saturate the center of this photo here, but I want the background to remain less vibrant. If all I have to work with is the saturation slider, well, let me pull that out, then I'm just kind of out of luck. It's all or nothing. I can push the saturation slider upwards, but I would only end up with a photo that's saturated everywhere. But masking lets you do something different. Instead of saturating everything, you can mask out the areas of the photo that you don't need saturated. And then when you push up the, saturated, the saturation slider, you end up with a photo just like you wanted with the saturated center but the normal background. And masking isn't just for saturation adjustments. You can also use masking with sharpening, with noise reduction, white balance adjustments, and then so much more. So let's take a look at how you actually use masking within Luminar. So you have several useful masking options in Luminar. So you can hide or reveal certain areas of your photos in a few different ways. Now, to see your masking options, you can just come hit Edit Mask wherever. It's under many tools. You can see you have Brush, Radial Mask, Gradient Mask, and Luminosity Mask. So first, you can use the brush to paint on image adjustments. So this is good for careful masking when you need to selectively mask a complex area of your photo. So for instance, say you know, I wanted to just put the saturation adjustment in the middle. Come here of your brush, and I'm just going to paint that saturation adjustment right on there in the middle. Now, you also have the radial mask, uh, which is another option. Uh, here, let me just reset the mask. Uh, and the radial, the radial uh, mask just lets you apply adjustments in a fairly circular area. Uh, and so here what you're going to do is just come the radial mask and then you just draw it on here. And the adjustments are going to be applied, um, in this particular case, they're applied outside the circle, though you can always come here and hit invert. And then they're going to be applied inside the circle as well. And then third, you can use what's called a gradient mask. To apply the adjustments gradually. So here's the gradient mask. And then for instance, I draw the gradient here. And the adjustments are going to be applied here. I'll desaturate. Applied from the from the edge of the gradient on back. Uh, getting stronger as you go the, down this way. Um, and this is really helpful when you're working with landscapes. So you can use a gradient to selectively darken the sky or brighten the foreground. Um, and finally, you can use a luminosity mask to apply adjustments based, adjustments based on different brightness levels in your image. But this is kind of complex. And uh, for now, I recommend focusing on the other three methods of masking, which are very, very useful and are going to offer you a lot of opportunities. Um, and note that you can also find these masking options. So I've showed you how you can find them within the tools, but you can also find them here in the layers um, by create, say, an adjustment layer. I can work with the layers and the masks. Um, and so note that in Luminar, you really do have two options in terms of masking. You can mask via layers. so add a mask to the layer as a whole, or you can mask without layers where you mask on an adjustment by adjustment basis. And so that was the tool-based mask that I was showing you earlier. 
Um, and you can combine these two as well to create more complex edits, but it can get kind of kind of complicated and confusing. So be careful. Um, so if you mask without layers, then you're working on your tool by tool basis. So you can increase the saturation, say with the color tool, then selectively apply that, then use the details enhancer tool uh, to apply sharpening and then selectively place that on your subject. Like there's a lot of different things that you can do there. Um, um, but so you would just use this edit, this edit mask function once you've uh, uh, gone through with your adjustments. Um, but if you're gonna use layers, um, then you're gonna wanna come here and you, you create your adjustment layer, then with the adjustment layer selected, so it's adjustment layer one, you can see if you come here, adjustment layer one is what's actually being edited on. Then, then you make your adjustments, then um, you're gonna come in here and then you can use the masking options to selectively apply, apply every adjustment that you've made on that layer. And then if you don't like the results, you can just delete the layer and the edits are gone. It's pretty cool. Um, in general, I think the layer masking is better if you want to make multiple adjustments to your photo that you want to be applied identically. So if you're going to reduce the noise, sharpen, and increase the contrast on the, on the flower in the center, well, then just use a layer and then uh, apply the mask all at once. But if you're going to be doing a lot of different things in a lot of different places, you can just do it on a tool by tool basis. Um, and so really like when you're doing uh, all this masking, you just have to be careful, recognize that you can use multiple masks. Uh, you can use multiple masks together. So you can use a uh, gradient mask and you can use a brush and that way you can really fine tune, uh, what you're looking for. Um, so ultimately you can create some incredible effects as long as you're open to using masks. Uh, and so and now that you've watched this video, you should know all about masking in Luminar 4. And you should be able to confidently use masks to hide and reveal your different adjustment layers as well as your individual edits. Masking is an extremely powerful tool. It's perfect for using uh, more local edits to really enhance your photos. And so when you edit, just make sure that you use some of your masking knowledge and you'll end up with some really, really beautiful images. Anyway, so that's it for now. And thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for other photo editing tips and tutorials.